Hey everybody, the Reeswirl here, and welcome to Mystic Quest Legend, also known as Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Anyway, let us start a new game. My name, TRW. Uh, supposedly this game's... I don't know why it was classed as a Final Fantasy game, because in my eyes, it's not. It's got some of the same elements, such as like turn-based battles and stuff. But everything else compared to Final Fantasy is completely different. Like, the magic system is not MP. I don't like the life gauge currently, but I can change it once I've done this tutorial section. And I will say this. Um, I, was I was very unlucky about f five minutes ago, because I was recording this. And what happened was the first monster you go against that you're not supposed to be able to be killed by because it should be dead within three or four hits killed me <laughs> because I missed three fucking times. So dumb. And that's why I'm re-recording. Because <laughs> it's dumb. I shouldn't be missing. Alright, so that's the focus tower. I don't really know whether to read the dialogue. I probably won't because I don't like doing that because I just read it in my regular voice. I don't do... Voices, because I can't do voices. Uh, okay. I'm draining the light from the four crystals of the earth. Oh no. Only you can save the crystals and the world. Okay. But aside from the game being a complete and utter dick, sometimes, I do really like this game. It's one of my like most remembered childhood games. However, as a child, I only made it to the water crystal, which is the second crystal if you didn't know. And I don't think I made it any further than that. I need to kind of like sort out my... There we go. Clothes. Okay, here we go again. Alright. I'm just gonna get right into it and hope to fuck that I don't get owned. Oh, the battle system's so slow. Shame that you can't speed it up. Well, I mean, I'm on an emulator, and I can. And that is one thing that I'm going to say now. The game has... Oh, great. The game has these battlefield things, which is where you just go after, like, ten rounds of enemies, one after another. Um, and then when you win, you sometimes get armor, a spell, money, or experience. What I'll be doing for those battlefields is probably speeding up all the battles. And the way I'll speed up the game is I just have to... There we go, we did it. Da -da -da. Yeah, I just have to hold down the left trigger, and that will speed up the game. I could do it now, but it kind of messes with the framing of the game, which is weird. You said you were sure I was the one. Well, actually, it was more of a guess. I don't really know what that is. <laughs> but I know our character does that quite a bit. place becoming dangerous follow me to the level forest and again see I don't know why he does that so much but whatever let's get out of here who is that guy I don't know but I'm hoping I can do at least one crystal per session but in all fairness I can probably make it to the second probably can't get the second crystal but I could probably make it to the second crystal uh, rather easily but I've been playing this entire game recently, sped up. Uh, that boulder is blocking my way back to town, would you shove it aside? Wait, I'll actually give you an example. This is how quick I walk, like how walk, how quick I walk and jump. But I've been having, I've been playing the game like this. And as you can imagine, it's a lot nicer because the game's pretty slow to begin with. If you want to go through this forest, find Kaylee in Forester and show her this. I totally read this as tits. <laughs> Show her tits. <laughs> oh yeah, that's one thing I should change. For one, I want to customize this to be red. There we go. I can't remember. Is that purple or is that purple? And I also want figure because I don't like the scale. And then message speed to be fast. I don't really know which to go for. That one. It's a darker one. 
I really should have saved that one in the second slot. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Right, I don't know why I'm checking everything. All I needed to do was change the colour, because that's all I wanted to do. And the, the like, life figure scale, because I don't like, like the bar thing that they gave you. It's so weird to me. Even when I was a kid. I think when I was a kid I didn't really give a shit. Like, when I was a kid, I'd just have it on, um, the bar, because I didn't know you could change it. And I did think there was a, uh, a button that you could press to change it, but it seems, seems not. And I'll probably be maxing out on Cure Potions, either during this session or in my own time. Um, it's very, very fucking easy. I'll give you an example of how easy it is, uh, sooner or later. Because basically what it is, uh, every area you go into, has certain chests all over the place and those chests you can open while you're there and once you leave that area like go to the world map and come back there we go we got our first spell yeah once you leave the area and come back what will happen I'm pressing the wrong buttons is those chests will be resealed and you can open them for the same item you got before again which is awesome kind of cheap but still fucking awesome and that house down there is what I'll be using to rest up currently because it's very useful you don't have to pay you can just go into this person's house sleep in their bed and call it a night it's great okay here we go I'll talk to this person first I got his captain cap oh oh right this is Kaylee yes there is chop down the tree once I've taken over the forest okay let's go yeah, it's not anywhere dangerous. Exactly. Let's go! Yes! And she's only level 3. Alright, there we go. If you look on Kaylee's um, health bar, or, you know, bar, if I press Y, or square on the controller, it switches between auto and manual. You can probably guess what they do. Uh, auto is the AI controls itself, and manual means I control the AI. Oh, she has life! Ah! Okay, that's useful. What? Okay. Oh, it's showing that she can cut down trees. There you go. Let's cut this with my axe. Okay. Before we do that, I, I want to open this chest, just to show it off. Like, we already opened it, and there you go, three more Cure Potions. You can get 99 Cure Potions so freaking easy. I think they've done it that way that the chests respawn, because there's no item shop in the game, which is very, very strange. Uh, the worst part is, while I'm level 1, I can't one-shot anything. Kaylee can one-shot everything. But not me. I need to be. A th I think I need to get to level three in order to one shot everything, or one shot anything. I oh, agree. And how the game? Oh, crap. <sighs> I'm getting my ass kicked already. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this game can be very frustrating. If it takes me so long that I have to keep going back to the village, which I am going to have to, I will just speed up the process. I could just do this in editing, but in all fairness, I'd rather just speed up the game because it's much easier. And people might be like, that's cheating. I'm like, no, it's, it's just making the game quicker. And then back to the forest we go, which means we have to go against that dude again. I just realized I'm an idiot. That was literally that fight with him was pointless. I think. Yeah, they respawn. I forget! Uh, <laughs> Shit. And also, the battles are not the same every time. Like, yes, we've gone against two of these and a slime again, but... Oh, nice! That actually worked out. Oh, yes! But the, the battles are completely random. Stop going after me, you pricks! Actually, I've got magic. I should just use that. And I really wish Kaylee would not miss, because 
it's kind of shit that she does. Yeah, I just realised I do have magic. There we go, I leveled up. Woo! And the way cure potions work in this game, if I use this, it will recover 20 life. And then if I get to le when I get to level 3, it will recover 30 life. You could probably guess what the, like, system is. Cure potions recover basically 10 times your level. That's all it is. Uh, I don't know how good my spells are. Yeah, it gets me full, full health. It's good enough. I should probably just try and kill the boss. Like, get to the boss and kill it as soon as, if I can. But I don't know. If I do die at any of these, you are able to retry it. Which is quite nice. Also very... I guess that's why they called this the beginners. Final Fantasy. Oh no, it's level 2 where you one-shot everything. Okay. Yeah, because whenever you go against... Um, if you die at an enemy or a boss or whatever, you're able to restart from that encounter. Not like most others where if your entire party is wiped out, you have to reload from a save game. Which is... I wouldn't say it's douchey because it's, it's not. Quite a lot of games are like that. So... Never mind. Alright. Do 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 do. But I do really like this game, and I've leveled up. Really? Wow. And in my other game, I'm like level 23, and I need like 7,000 per level. Probably more. I don't really keep an eye on my uh, XP. Really? If I'm honest. Not so much. But I've I've, I've been wanting to do this game for a long time. But for, like, for me, the problem was finding a, an emulator to do it. I mean, I can emulate on my PC, but I just don't like emulating on my PC. I don't know why. If I can just... If I could emulate on a console, then I would choose that over PC. And people might find that really freaking absurd. But it's just the way I am, really. If I'm honest. And that's why I'm playing this on the PS3, because I re recently got RetroArch. Which, if you didn't know, it's an emulator on the PS3 that allows you to play, like, uh, SNES, NES, uh, Genesis, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, all those, all, basically all the great retro consoles on the emulator, which is fan-fucking-tastic. And they all work perfectly, I've been testing them a lot, because the reason I've been testing them so much is because I'm like, if this works, or if these work well enough, then I definitely am going to be uh, using them to record. For sure. And, well, what do you know, they do work. And hopefully we'll get to level 4. Maybe? I'll use potions and everything before we go against the boss. I know where the boss is located. It's a pain in the ass. Because, like, the first boss they throw you into actually hits really damn hard. And I would say this game doesn't really have grinding, but if you really wanted to grind for experience, you could do. How close am I to leveling then? No, I won't level up again. No! Alright. Yeah, the first boss they throw you into does like 40 damage in one hit. It's like, what? Are you shitting me? That's why it can go pear-shaped quite easily. I think this is a heal potion. Yes. Alright. I wonder... I... Oh, balls, I didn't heal up. I thought I had to actually... Ah, oh, fuck. Well, this could have been a bad move. This could have been a very bad move. Shit. Yep, we go straight into the fight with him. Bugger. Oh no. Shit. I guess we'll just have to attack. Really? Wow. I get insta-killed. Thankfully she has life. Yeah, just 44 damage. Three hits and you're out. 
Not even. And I barely do any damage. That lowers her defense, I think. I mostly just mash the A button. <laughs> right, so he hits with an axe. 